in the first half of 2023, over 165 legislative bills, anti-ESG, went into the state houses in the United States. What's important to note, less than 15% of those bills actually made it into law. Now, ESG is just an acronym. The Republicans have done, frankly, a great job of vilifying that term. And that's why it's uh, companies, you know, are moving away from perhaps highlighting that term, even though, by and large, they're continuing with their sustainability efforts. Look, can I just go through this? And, and, I, and I don't want to sound like I'm kind of some oh, wishy-washy, green-loving lefty or something, but, but what bit of it do they not like? Do they not like the environmental responsibilities of corporates? Do they not like the social responsibilities or the governance? As far as I'm concerned, I don't want to work for a company that doesn't take all three of those seriously as well. So what bit is it that they think that companies who have been the biggest polluters historically don't want to have environmental concerns, don't want to look after people, don't want to have equal rights? I don't get it, Carl. I've got to be honest. I'm really struggling when I speak to anyone who's anti-ESG. What bit don't you actually like? Well, I appreciate your passion uh, for sure, and I perhaps on an individual basis may fully agree with you. Um, the real issue is politics and the timing around sustainability efforts to the energy transition. And so politics oftentimes results uh, in certain interest groups having a large say. And there's clear uh, that the fossil fuel industry is a big player, and if you look at the contributions going to politicians, you'll see that they are having a tremendous impact in this legislative debate. However, most Americans don't know what ESG is. Most Americans believe in climate change, and most Americans agree that we should have a responsible transition to a more sustainable future. What's more, everyone agrees that companies should be transparent and there should be checks and balances. Mm -hmm. And in the United States, on that S factor around social, people know that the war for talent is real and that the talent to seek is as broad as possible. Mm -hmm. Race, gender, sexual orientation doesn't matter. Talent matters. And that's what, where the companies that we advise are focused on. They want to have policies that nurture their employees, that attract the best talent to their companies so they can perform well for shareholders. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.